Friend me, me see you on the corner Pony roadie hotter than a sauna Anna Lisa, Daniela, Missy Carla Bobo girl, Bobo say the water Send me get a text That's the from me crib Walk right past me ex Me see a set a twin Double using iPhone ring ring Just I come from the Oxford Street It's stress me need a drink, no rant with me Hey guys and welcome back to my channel It's your girl favorite gift and we Back at it again with another video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl favorite gift, and we're back at the game with another video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You're back at it again with another video. It's your girl favorite gift. Um, whew, today's video, I might struggle to pronounce T8 a few words because my wisdom tooth is coming out, so that's why my lips are not opening as wide as they should. But yeah, it's really hard to swallow as well, like on the my right side, and it's just really so I have to think about my right and left. Oh my god, wow, that's really sad. Um, okay. Yeah, so like I said, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Uh, it looks good. Um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Please subscribe and support me. I actually have a goal to get to 200. Um, it would be nice to get to 200 in like within two weeks. Let's see if we can do that. So the goal is for 200. So please, please subscribe. Please subscribe down below. Share this with your friends and family. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I feel like I actually haven't been, I haven't sat in front of the camera in a long time. I feel like I haven't chat with you guys because a few other vid, like the other one was what? Like a vlog and it was, like the other one was, was um, a coll it was a collab so it wasn't like just me and you guys but I'm back again. Back to this nice routine that I really love. So today, um, interesting thing is I was actually filming another video before this but then I kind of lost them. I wasn't in a, you know sometimes when you're just... The excitement wasn't there anymore, so I was like, nah, there's no passion, there's nothing, just gonna be a dry, like, it's not really me, so I'm just not gonna do it. So I decided to just talk about something else, because I'm just thinking, you know, especially on this, for my godly chats and Christian lifestyle, I want to be able to not be, like, I do want to be transparent in a way, but, you know, obviously not share every single thing about myself, but be able to, like, help other people who might be on the same journey as me, um, as a Christian, or even just a non-Christian, just as a young teenage girl. Um, but yeah, so today's video is just really just like, I think it's just a chit chat and it's just going to be me talking and just whatever. Yeah, so let's do this. So like lately, okay, it's not even lately, but I feel like there's this weird thing going on with like, I'm trying to work so hard on my relationship with God because that is so important to me. And it's kind of like, I've been trying to thirsty 30 and I'm not even going to lie. Like I haven't done that in maybe th two two three weeks i actually haven't done that and it's and i feel really bad that i haven't been able to like pray like i was trying to do before and it's there's no excuse for it because i'm i shouldn't allow uni get you know get in the way of that because my relationship with god is absolutely more important and the only way i can manage university is with the grace of god and with god's help but i'm still trying to work on that and it's like pushing and pushing every day to try to make you know right decisions you know and refusing to, you know just trying to better myself become a better christian as well not you know trying to be like more like christ but at the same time like i think now especially after going to my conference that i went to i've become more aware that like i've been living i've been trying to become this like perfect christian but in a way like i haven't been doing what i'm supposed to be doing as well as like spreading the word to other people and like doing even though i do sometimes try to do that but i think i need to push myself more there's more that i can do out there you know with praying for others and then trying to just um bring the word of god to other people but that's not really what i want to talk about in this video i kind of wanted to focus more on like boys but okay this is really weird because my mom and probably a lot of my aunties and uncles and my dad's gonna watch this so this is really weird but hey let's do it as people who know me i'm such it's really weird, but I'm such a marriage-focused girl. Like, I can't wait to get married. Y'all don't even understand. Like, I like last week I was looking at engagement rings. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, I was really looking at engagement rings, and like, it's no joke, y'all. Like, I'm nuts. 
I just really can't wait to get married but I'm not it's one of those things though like I can't wait to get married but I know that I'm not I'm not just gonna jump into any opportunity so if a guy was to propose to me now I'm not gonna say yes because of the sake of getting married but I can't wait to actually meet the right person that God wants me to be with and like actually be like married and not, it's not like an end goal but it's just a milestone that I just can't wait for you know it's kind of like you can't wait for your first time to drive or your first time you know you're like turning 21 all that kind of stuff but it's such a month like it's a milestone that I I just can't wait for it. it's just mad like it's a it's a mad thing like I can't wait to get married um and it's like I I think I had a conversation with someone it's really weird like I came to the conclusion that I don't want to have a, like I don't want to have like a boyfriend boyfriend I more want to I want a courtship and it's really weird because I just don't want to have to go through that process of like you know seeing where things go like I don't like I don't really I don't really want that I just want a courtship kind of like the understanding from the get-go that we're in this because like obviously for me it's the courtship starts with a friendship so I'm not gonna just go meet a random person and be like oh yeah let's have a courtship we definitely have to be friends first that's, that's for me I definitely want to be friends with this person first and it's not just like a, like just a friend we have to I feel like we have to build up very good friendship and it's kind of like one of those things that we feel like when you're good friends and you already know each other there's no need like you can date now date as like a couple but you don't need to do that whole dating thing of like let me get to know you like as we go through day by day I will continue to get to know you so there's no need for like this whole like dating kind of thing so that's why I would prefer to like have a friend you know me being friends with this guy I mean, going to a courtship where like our parents are involved from the get-go kind of thing like from the start when we decide that oh yeah you know like I really like you you're like me um let's like now we know that like the whole goal is to get married anyways but it's not like oh like I wouldn't even because I feel like especially if the person is my friend I wouldn't even mind if we were like we, we were in our courtship arrangement for a year and we were to get married after that but this is my thing the friendship is not just a friendship over like one year it's a friendship that has been like it for me has to be there for like at least two three years kind of thing like we have to be friends for that long and maybe we could have a crush on each other in that whole time but it's kind of like we wait we waited out a little bit and then we have like a courtship that's this is me i don't know it's just something i want but it's weird because i'm so boy crazy like it's not even funny and i feel like that's so bad because i've been trying to tell myself lately like stop being so boy crazy and just focus on you focus on god focus on your education focus on your business focus on what you have going on which I am I'm it's not like I'm chasing so I'm just gonna put it out there I'm not chasing I'm not like running after boys trying to like be like hey give me your number give me your number like let's talk no it's not that I think I'm boy crazy in the sense of like I like I, like I'll see a guy and he could be really cute so I'll just be like oh he's really cute and I'm just like even though I know that's normal but it's like I look and I'll be like okay okay maybe it's not like okay let me rephrase that it's not like a I'm walking then some guy walks past and all of a sudden I dream of our wedding it's more of like like I'll see someone maybe at uni all the time and I'll start we'll be talking and we'll be like chatting and then all of a sudden I'm like could he be potential bae like that thought comes into my mind and I don't know I just feel like I just need to chill about that I just shouldn't I overthink everything oh my gosh like and it's not even overthink I think about every single scenario possible that I feel like it would be impossible for like me to be surprised by what could take place like i think i'll look at somebody and i'll be like hmm maybe they could be this maybe they could be that for me maybe they could be this for me and it's just like really weird i don't know i think i'm just ranting and probably making no sense right now as i'm talking keep trying to, i'm looking there but i really need to focus on there but yeah like i don't know i feel like I'm probably just ranting a lot and all that kind of stuff and I'm, I'm not ranting but I'm just probably going on and just going on and going on but I don't know like definitely comment down below and tell me if you guys feel the same way or are thinking like the same way kind of thing of like I don't feel pressured by my mom or anything like that that I need to get married there's no pressure there for me from my parents just putting it out there but it's something that I've just set for myself and it's like I always have these interesting conversations with like especially like I'm not gonna lie I've had conversations with like guys who go like wait because I always say that I date from like I I courtship for marriage is that, is that the best way to say it? like okay I'll just call it dating but whatever like you know you date for marriage kind of thing and a lot of guys laugh at that and they say like what do you mean and it's kind of like yeah I'm not gonna date I'm not gonna like want to further a relationship with you if first of all marriage is not the end goal um, and if you're not a godly person kind of thing so sometimes it's a situation where I might be friends with somebody but then I'll overthink it and I'll be like um, 
and this is most of the time just like a like a like just maybe not even a friend like an acquaintance i'll have like an acquaintance and i'll be like could this be the person that god wants me to be with oh my god could it be and on my own i really pray for my husband and all that kind of stuff in my mind but it's just weird i feel like i'm really boy crazy but i maybe boy crazy is not the good term yeah maybe boy crazy is not the good like not the good like the right term for me to use for this or how i feel but I don't know it was like I know I can't wait for that like I just really want that to happen but then at the same time I know I don't want it to happen now because well I'm only 18 geez relax but like yeah it's just like I wish really want to meet my the person that I think God wants me to be with it's like I want to meet them now and so then the patience to wait I don't have the patience to wait but um yeah sorry guys oh my mouth is so so that was a really random rant, wasn't it? Okay, it's not even a rant, like, it was just really random. And I know that was really random and I'm so sorry. But, yeah, I just wanted to voice my opinion, kind of thing, just voice how I feel. Um, so, why am I saying it's an opinion? It's not even an opinion, though. It was just me talking. Yeah, today's just a little bit of a weird chit-chat. I don't, I know I'm acting like I have no energy, but I really do. But I'm just really tired because it's just the end of the day I have work to do. I've got stuff to do for my European class and my law class and all that stuff. But yeah, comment down below if you feel kind of similar. Like, you feel like your mind is kind of like you're always thinking about like who they could be or that kind of stuff. But then you don't. You don't over, you know, you don't overthink it, or maybe you do overthink it, or maybe you're just like on the boat. You're like, I don't know how you feel, but like, yeah, definitely, like, comment down below, comment down below, and tell me what you think. Like, especially being like a young teen, do you feel like you're kind of boy crazy in the sense of like you want a boyfriend or you want a relationship, but but then you know that you're not ready for one, and you know that you're not um mentally there because I, I I'm not even gonna lie like sometimes I tell myself that I'm oh yeah I'm so ready for a relationship but at the same time that's why I said I, I, I want a friendship first like I definitely want just a friendship because I feel like I'm still on my journey getting to know God still on my journey getting to know me still on my journey trying to build a proper foundation with with Christ and trying to make sure that I love God with all my heart all my mind and all my soul and all, you know all my heart you know all that you know like I just really want to I want to be in love with God first before I can be in love with another person but it's like I just it's like I just want to be friends with the person now like I just want I really hope that God will introduce me this person I just want I don't know this weird thing I just want to be friends with them now just so it can be like even like a three-year friendship literally just a genuine friendship of like ha 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 we're laughing and then later on when I'm like 24 25 23. Not really fast, but I think this is the cue for me to end the video because my mouth is really sore. But yeah, um, hey guys, I'm so sorry, like I'm so tired. But if you liked that video, please like and um like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Like I said in the start of the start of the video, please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 200 two zero zero. So what am I going like that? Two zero zero. So two zero zero. Two hundred um, subscribers would be nice, guys. I'm trying to help me get up there to that. But um, yeah. But yeah, like I read. Really told you guys what to write below. Just tell me how you feel. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my next video, but I'll probably like see. I don't know. But yeah, so my first video. Bye. Then I do not do it. Why I say, I'm not going to take a man over.